we have a good old banking scandal coming up. Actually, we have four scandals, but I'll only talk about one of them right now. All four of them are about European banks, which were used to launder money from Russian crime syndicates and other illegal um, clients to use it to buy luxury goods or any other kind of wealthy investments and also to transfer the money to certain individuals. So we have, we already had um, the proxy platform, the Russian laundromat, the Azerbaijani laundromat, and now we have the Troika laundromat. The Troika laundromat is centered around the Troika dialogue, dialogue, which is one of the largest Russian investment banks and which has recently been bought by um, the state-owned Spare Bank. And the Troika Dialogue operated an independent arm which contained, uh, which consisted of a large number of shell corporations which they used to launder money from wealthy clients and basically they took in illegal money and legal money and transferred it um, through a large number of European bank accounts until legal and illegal money were no longer distinguishable. So this story was broken by um, The Guardian and it was originally um, puzzled out by the Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project, a Lithuanian website, and one of the most often implicated banks is UQ, um, but there are a large, a large number of other banks already impl in, implicated. So the three largest Dutch banks are indicated, all of them. Um, Raiffeisen Bank International is indicated. The Dansk Bank is indicated, which is a Swedish um, Denmark bank. Uh, sorry. No, Dansk Bank is Denmark, um, and Swedish Bank AB is Swedish, which is also implicated. Uh, and okay, those are the banks we have right now. So, the money from the wealthy clients um, with of Troika Bank, Troika Dialog, was. Um, funneled um, between the shell companies that Troika Dialog set up, which had accounts in all of those European banks, and the shell companies never really existed outside of paper, and yeah, um, legal and illegal money were mixed until they were indistinguishable. And was then and then the money was used to buy yachts, buy Rolls Royces. It was given to Prince Charles. It was given to one of Vladimir Putin's best friends. It was just transferred everywhere and probably used in a lot of corruption payments. Yeah. So, once again, these are bad news, but not very surprising news. I guess you can say that about most news I give you. And here is my great prediction. My prediction is that for a short time, these scandals will be uncovered and will be reported in the business press, will be largely suppressed in the non-business press, then the tumult will die out, nobody will get jailed, maybe some banks will get fined, the stocks of some banks are breaking down, but they will, be, uh, they will probably get um, bailouts, and then Everything will get calm 
and it will start again. And again, and again, and again. Because the banks own our governments. Or rather, the money interests own our governments. And the governments own law enforcement. So, my grand prediction is, at least nobody important will get jailed. Maybe some um, figureheads will get jailed, but no important executives will ever see a jail cell. Maybe some will get fined, but I don't expect it. Maybe the banks will get small fines, but I'm also not very optimistic about that. And basically everybody wins except everybody, <laughs> except the rich people. Uh, it would be nice to be proven wrong for once, but I wouldn't hold my, my breath. I want you to subscribe and click the bell. Also, I want your questions and your feedback. You can send them to me by Facebook, by Twitter, and by email. The links are below. Thank you for your time.